Hello, welcome to the shop. It is Sunday, August 2nd, so I'm a day late in uh, doing the shop tour, but it's not terribly uncommon if you watch the shop tours. They're usually done within the first few days. It's, uh, well, it's sometimes it's hard to get out here on the first, but regardless, the shop is relatively clean now. We're just about to jump into a couple of projects, so let's start going through. Um, as always, my step covered in tools, covered in crap that needs to go in the attic. Not too much has changed here. Uh, my bandsaw, um, I've got one more sticker since last time, prototype of our sticker. The stickers we release are not going to be exactly that way, but uh, that's a pretty good representation of what you're going to see coming out from the MWA, and let us know if you want some stickers. Uh, we're joining, you know, 2006 in that we're finally getting around to having stickers. Um, here on the floor are electronic components in those boxes for the project I'm just about to get, get started on. Um, Table saw. It's got remnants of uh, an interview I did a couple days ago. Odds are this will post before the interview does. I'm not going to mention it in this video, but I will certainly share uh, once the once my interview does come out. Um, there's components in the very back, all that plywood. That is for the window seat, which is currently on hold because the friend who I'm making it for had a massive plumbing problem and it knocked out most of his floor and his first most of the floor on his first floor so I don't have a floor to put the window seat on right now so that's kinda on hold I'm gonna have to move that plywood uh, later today when I clean this area up and get all my networking cables and stuff off the table saw um, that's what's left of the red shelves as I've mentioned even these shelves will ultimately go though some of them may end up beneath things but I don't want any stacks of shelves like that um, I want them to all tuck underneath things so some of them will probably fit underneath the router table when I finally get around to making the router table. One or two may fit underneath the table saw when I put the outfeed table on. There's a lot of there's a lot more stuff I need to fit in the shop, and I'm hoping that these drawers don't actually need to leave, but can just be tucked into other spaces. But I'm not terribly pleased with their arrangement right now. But it, you know, it, it works. Um, that's remnants of the dye work I was doing last night and this morning. It's outside in the driveway drying right now. There's my secondary clamp storage. Any clamps that don't fit on my racks right now go in there. I need to build a couple more racks and just empty that garbage pail and get it out of the shop, but haven't quite gotten around to that yet. Sander cart. Not too much has gone on with the sander cart since I built it uh, probably about two months ago now. But if you come around to this side, you see those grinders. With the handles sticking out on the side, they get kind of in the way. So what I think I'm going to do is abandon this piece of plywood and make three pieces of plywood with those v-notches on and attach them sideways so the grinders can mount this way um, and the handles will all stick out rather than lap over each other because right now it's a little awkward they're they're too close together um, but still it, it works as it is now it's a two-handed operation and I'm lazy and I wanted to be able to with one hand just grab one off of it so that's why I'm gonna rotate them a little bit and hopefully win some more space Come over to the bench, it's clean. Um, that little piece of plywood you see there is a sample for uh, the project I'm about to get jump, get working on. And um, hopefully this afternoon this is covered in equipment and materials and we're underway. This is the remnants of the project I'm just finishing up now, the one that's being stained outside or dyed rather. You can see there's the container of general finishes dye, my Nick Tahoe's mug, and um, just other equipment for doing the die work, leftover plywood from the window seat, and all that OSB there is actually for the window seat too, and it's kind of in the way. So this window seat, I was supposed to be installing it or working on the installation today, and then all this happened, so I got to get it out of my shop and find a place for it. It's too big. But anyway, as we come around in the in the tour, the dust collector continues to rock. I keep threatening, I will continue to threaten that I will ultimately make a video about it, but I can't praise it highly enough. I love this thing. Um, it does a great job of collecting all the tools I connect it to. Um, well, there's an improvement, is the air conditioner. I finally broke down and put the air conditioner in. I picked up the air conditioner last year. Um, just a little window mounted unit. It's barely big enough to cool the almost 200 square feet I have. I think I have about 185 square feet in here. So it's it's right on the threshold, but with the insulation, what I find is that once it does get the room cool, I can turn it off and it stays cool for a very long time. So 
it is uh, it's tolerable and, and fr frankly comfortable to work in here. And it's not too loud. Uh, and there's my lumber storage, some lawn care stuff, and the three cardboard boxes of my sculpted rocker that is far too far away from now. So, anyway, that is the shop tour for August 2nd, 2015. Not all that much in the shop right now, but just about to jump into a new project because the two that are open are kind of stalled. So, I'll talk to you all soon. Stay busy in your shop.